finding the area of a trapezoid using, sorry, a trapezoid on a grid by using triangles and rectangles. Okay, so we're given this trapezoid here and we're told that each one of these squares is one unit. So that means it's one unit wide by one unit long. So we need to, to fill in the, the answers they want here. So they want us to divide it up into a triangle and into a rectangle, or in this case, a square. So we're gonna go through and we have area of a rectangle, like this, equals length times width. Area of a triangle equals one half times length times width. And the reason it's one half is because if I draw this, go like this, it actually looks like a full rectangle, which is length times width. But we only want half of that because we're, we're going diagonal to diagonal. So we're cutting the rectangle in half. So that's where the one half comes from in the, the area of a triangle. So then we just look at this as far as what is our length and our width. So we have three and three. And then we have three again in here. And we have one, two, three, four along the top. So then we just plug in what we have for each one. So for our, our rectangle, we have length and width three times three. So we get nine. So I'm gonna just write it over here. So our first area is nine and that's for the rectangle. The second area, we have one half times three times four. It's easier to multiply the three and the four because you get 12. And then think of times one half as the same thing as dividing by two. So you get 12 divided by two is six. And then I'm gonna add these two together for the whole thing. So then I get the total area is 15 square units. So we're just gonna break it into pieces and then um, we're going to add them together afterward. So we're gonna break it up, find the, the separate ones, and then add them back together. All right, so let's go ahead and try this on the next page here. Um, oh darn it, that's kind of in my way. So I'm gonna clear that out. Okay, so we have four pieces to fill in here because here's here's our trapezoid and they've broken it up into two triangles and a rectangle in the center and then after we find our three pieces here whoop, I have to turn my pen size down after i turn the eraser size up so after we find our three pieces then we can add them together for the total area so area of the rectangle let's go with the rectangle first so we want length times width so we have a length, one, two, three, four, and we have a width, one, two, three, four, five. So we have four times five, which is 20. Area of the top triangle equals one half times length times width. So we have one half times, we still have a four as a length. Now we need to look at the width here. We have one, two, three. So we have four times three. It's easier to multiply four times three first. So we have one half times 12. And remember, think of this as dividing by two. So I want half of 12, or 12 divided by two, which is six. Area of the bottom triangle. So we're still gonna have one half length times width. So that equals one half times, we need to, to go and look at, so we have four, and then we have one, two, three, four. So the bottom part is a little bit longer than the top part here. So make sure you go back and count it just to make sure that you get everything that you're supposed to. Um, so we have four times four. So again, it's a little easier to multiply four times four first. And then remember we want half of 16 or we can just take 16 and divide by two and we get eight. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna start filling in my pieces. So I have 20. I have six and I have eight. So now, remember once we get these three pieces, I wanna add them together. So I get 26 plus eight more is 34. Check. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and do this two more times. Whoops, forgot to hit next. Okay, so now we only, we're back down to two pieces here. So once we get our two pieces, we add those two pieces together and that'll give us our total. So we have area of the rectangle equals length times width. So I have length and I have width, right? So I have one, two, three, four, five by two. So I have 
5 times 2, which gives me 10. And then I have area of my triangle, which equals 1 half times length times width. So 1 half times length is still going to be 5. It's still across here. And width is going to be across, down this way. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have 1 half times 4 times 5 times 4 is 20. And remember, this means that I want half of 20 or 20 divided by 2, which is 10. Okay, so let's fill in our pieces here. So we have 10 and 10. And we want to add those two together to get our total figure, which is 20. All right, let's do this one more time. So we're back to three pieces on this one. So we have our three pieces, and then we add those three pieces to get our total figure. So we have area of the triangle first, or sorry, rectangle first. So we want length times width. So my length is 2. My width is 3. 2 times 3 gives me 6. Area of the left triangle equals 1 half length times width. So I have one half, and now I need to figure out what's my length and my width. So my length is one, two, three, four, and my width is still three, because it's still three tall here. So I have length times width equals one half times 12, because four times three is 12, and then I want one half of 12, or 12 divided by two, which is six. Area of my right triangle, is one half length times width. So one half times, so I already have three here on this side. I just need to know what's the length, which is two. So I have two times three. So one half times six, because two times three is six. Half of six is three. All right, so now I'm gonna type my pieces in here. So I get six and six and three. And I wanna add these together. So I get 12 plus three more is 15. All right, so we finished another one. Yay.